welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's begin Gemini. One of the things that shows up for you, for me, is there is a Libran energy and it's quite annoying. They are constantly in your face about what they want to do. Why, is, why are certain things the way that they are? And I have all these plans. I want to accomplish A, B and C. And there's you sitting there having to almost, you know, I will say put up with this energy because it's it's daunting, if you will. And, you know, you're sitting there asking them, well, what are you actually going to do about it? If you've got plans, if you've got so much that you want to achieve, what are you going to do about A, B and C in order to manifest? If something doesn't gel with me. Something doesn't also doesn't sit right with me when we talk about your money, Gemini, and where it's going and what it's been doing. And there are a lot of people involved when it comes to your money. There are transactions back and forth being dealt with. There's a lot being kept from you. There are lies. There is deceit now. Do keep in mind that when we talk about lies and deceit, this is going to be a make or break situation regarding your money this week. This is highly significant because you work so damn hard to put this together and then all of a sudden, somebody's going to be revealing something to you, what this deceit is all about. So yes, you are going to find out about it. Will it be easy to tackle? Most likely. Is it going to be something that you will be prepared for? Absolutely not. Also keep in mind that once this is all being uncovered and dealt with, and it will be resolved very quickly, almost instantly, you will be given the green light, pardon me, to go ahead and start over immediately. So there will be no time like the present to get back into the game and just explore the avenues that are available to you at the same time. Yet keep going with with that, uh, you keep going with that and, and what you strive for, you would like to see happen because your vision is much bigger than that. You've dealt with much worse before, so this is nothing that you can overcome, okay? So as I said, it's going to be real quick. You know, we'll find out, uh, you will find out about everything and it gets dealt with and sorted right then and there, so that's good. Somebody is playing mind games. This is to do with a, uh, a person. I want to talk about relationships and singles at the same time. So it doesn't matter who you are, what your status is, what your sex is. It, you know, you are dealing with somebody incredibly difficult. And they're not giving you the time of day. They're making it all about them. There is childish behavior involved. It is borderline strange that there is something not being dealt with on, on their end of the spectrum. What I'm seeing is that they're not giving you their all. There's some information about, you know, whether it's themselves or about someone else. So you could be having a full blown conversation with them and you may as well be talking to yourself. It just doesn't seem genuine. There's nothing genuine about this person. You are forever trying to get through to them. And believe me, if you've exhausted all avenues up until this point, regarding this person, then that's it. You're not getting anything else from this person. Difficult as difficult can be. So communication is that one, uh, is one of the lowest points for you with this person. I'm seeing that you're ready, you're willing, you're showing all great signs to go ahead and be with people and networking is one of your most favorite things to do this week. Uh, you are at your highest point. Uh, it's just one in, this one particular aspect of your life that isn't giving you what you deserve or what you want in return. You don't need to feed this energy by any means. Perhaps just let it be what, you know, what it is. Self-realization is a big thing now. You're finally realizing, you're noticing that not everything was what it was set out to be. And this includes the people in your environment. This includes the places you go. And if you're not getting, you're not receiving the same kind of energy, just let it be. You don't need to try too hard. You could be extremely determined to want to get to a place or to want to speak to somebody, to reach out to somebody and it's just not happening, then let it be. What's completely exhausting, I want to say even tricky about this situation, but when it comes to your love this week, you're proving to be, especially to yourself and, and that's what's important, you're proving to be this much stronger force and you're adamant about a lot of decisions you've come to make in your life up until this point as well. You're a true believer. You don't want to be let down. You're not interested in letting go. Rather, you want everything flowing. You want what works for you to stay that way. So you're in a very good place in terms of your emotional state. Your physical, not so much, but your emotional state is definitely doing you the world of good. You've got this positivity, this way of thinking about you. 
uh, about yourself that is just unstoppable and it's giving you all the benefits. But unfortunately, there are sometimes delays in other people's paths. And so when we're not reaching the same height, same level for not if you will, uh, whatever the case may be, then this could prove to be difficult to understand at most. But you don't need to allow it to get to that point. Try not letting other people's decisions get to you also. Try to let go of that and focus on how it feels for you. You know, thank you, Gemini.